deep. I can use these to climb out of here. Pull up. Can't carry any more.
jump. There's no other way. Jump. There's no other way. marked with a heron and an eclipse. On my way. Maybe 
that can provide support. Do you have it? It was a trap. The box was taken and... Unaratu was captured. We heard. We're working on a plan. She's being held at the prison by the old temple. Akan led a raid and was taken too. We'll charge the bridge that leads to the prison. It's aggressive. What if I climb up here, free her, and then signal to attack? That could work. Let's leave scouting the temple in the upper district. He could find you a way in. I'll go talk to him. We'll have backup ready once you get her out. Sounds good. For strength and safety. Thank you. Laura. I'll get her out. You believe that? The great Sinchichika and the shield of the Age Maker. Why not? Listen to yourself. It's a myth. Unuratu believes it. That's enough for me. It's a story, Gorienka. It's real. I know it is. It's just something our parents told us when we were kids. No, you're wrong, Kumia. The shield will unite us. The only things we should trust in to defeat Kukulkan are our skills and our wits. Well then, seeing as neither are your strong suit, I suggest you get back to your training. Lara. Yes? I am Korianka. Unuratu has spoken very highly of you. I was the one who opened the way to the old barracks when Etsy was captured. You played a part in that as well. We are sisters of the same cause. Ah, I see. Your tattoo, are you... One of the shorn ones, yes. But that was another life. Before Amaru, when we stood for something else. He dissolved my order in favor of his priests. I am all that is left. But I swore an oath. Never take a step backwards in battle. So now I wear the colors of the rebellion. I am duty-bound to Queen Unuratu. Well, the reputation of the shorn ones is well known to me. Historically speaking, it's an honor. You're too kind. I heard you speak of Emperor Sinchi Chika. Yes, the first emperor of Paititi. He is Unuratu's ancestor. He made this age everything we see, touch, smell, everything we fight for now. I've never heard of this shield before, the... The shield of the Age Maker. It is the evidence this rebellion needs that Unuratu is the one to lead Paititi into the next age. Inscribed on the shield is the ordination ritual. The ritual will prove Queen Unuratu is the next age maker, that only she may create destiny, and not that false god, Amaru. And where is the shield? Hidden, deep within the mountain, beyond the path of Huracan. The path of Huracan? It is a trial. Designed to test all those who seek the shield. You've already tried. That was my mission before Etsley was captured. Unfortunately, I had to divert. Since his rescue, the cult knows we're planning something, so... Now I must prepare our fighters, and the shield must wait. Only I fear that if we wait too long, Amaru may get with first and deny Unuratu's claim. If Amaru gets the shield, he can unite Paititi behind whatever story he chooses and proclaim himself the Age Maker. He'll remake the world as he sees fit. Yes. That can't happen. I was hoping you would say that. That's my friend over there with Uchu. His name's Jonah. I'll contact him if I find anything. I'll stay close to him. Thank you, Lara. I should have done something.
Uchu and I were talking, and, well... Uchu, what's on your mind? The day of Edsley's coronation is approaching. Soon he will be a man and take the first steps towards becoming Paititi's future king. Oh, that sounds like a day to look forward to. It's the hope for that day that keeps a lot of us fighting Amaru and his cult. Sometimes we all need to remember what we're fighting for. Is there something I can help you with? When Edsley's father, Sairi, died, Unaratu bestowed the honor of surrogate father onto me. One of my duties is to gather three sacred items for the ceremony, but... But with all that's happening right now, you aren't able to. What are these items? They are the Savior's amulet, the champion's bow, and the king's horn. Each a blessing from the ancestors of the future king. Tell me what you need, and I'll see what I can do. I already have men retrieving the amulet and bow, but if you could find Kabil, the instrument maker, and get the king's horn from him, he would be doing us a great favor. He's been difficult. I sent two men and both have failed. Perhaps you could talk to his wife. I think I can manage that. Be mindful. Kabil can be prickly sometimes, but Abra, his wife, has a way of dulling his edges. All full up. Can't carry any more. May they all be cursed. Father, father, come quick! It's the Ishiki! What do you want? We don't have time for Unuratu's rebellion right now. Are you Kabil? Uchu sent me for the king's... The king's horn? The call to the future? <laughs> Look at the good that future's done for my present. Just go! The cult found out my dad was making the horn. They poisoned our crops as punishment. Mom got sick. My brother Kuali went to the market to get herbs, but he hasn't returned. That's terrible. Let me see if I can find your brother and get the herbs you need. Thank you. Did you hear about Kuali? No. What happened? Abra was poisoned by Kukukuna's <laughs> I'm not sure she needs to get well. Why? Apparently, Kabil is... Excuse me. Ah, Ishiki. How can I help you? I'm looking for Kuali, the son of Kabil. Oh, that poor boy. Chimali, one of Kukulkan's thugs, is holding him in a cell up at the market, waiting for the Ahau to come to punish him. Thank you. Be well, Ishiki. A herb thief. He must be very dangerous. Today it's theft, and tomorrow it's murder. 
That's quite a leap, don't you think? You really want to know what I think? I think we should round up all these little rats and drown them. Every one of them, especially Yumil. His father may be a serpent guard, but he is not. Little thief should be punished. Hello there. Hey, you're Ishiki, from the outside, right? Yes, it's nice to meet you. Well, me, I'm Yamil. <laughs> what sort of game are you boys playing? It's not a game. My father is a serpent guard, a priest. I took his ceremonial knife to show my friends, and Shimali the guard saw. Shimali knows what father would do if he found out I took the knife, so he threw it up there. Now it's stuck. Oh. Let me see what I can do. Wow, really? Thank you. Thank you, Ishiki. You're welcome. Hey, wait a minute. The grown-ups around here always chase us away, but you helped. What do you want? Shh, I'll do the talking. So what do you want, Ishiki? I mean, is there something we can do to pay you back? I'm trying to help Kuali. You're too late. He's been sentenced to death. We can't do anything. And Chimali the guard hates you. Would Chimali chase you if you provoked him? Why? Because if he's not at his post, I can get to Kuali. Yeah, I like it. Oh, you can tell Kuali to meet us at the cave. He'll know where it is. It'll be safe for him there. I will. Let's go. Asto, Remy, with me. Samin, watch our backs. Then run to the cave. Stand back, Ishiki. We'll give you an opening. Chimali, you coward! You'll end your life as a slave! This is all my fault. Please, they were just herbs. I beg you. Your brother told me of your troubles. Wait, who are you? Someone who wants to help. I never wanted any of these to happen. I was only trying to help my mother get well. Where are the herbs? Give them to me. I will heal your mother. Go, your friends are waiting for you at the cave. Thank you. Here are the herbs. I'll run as fast as I can. I thought I told you to go. Kuali is safe and I have the herbs your wife needs. Really? And did you come to cure her or to barter for the king's horn? Here, this will help you. Bless you, Ishiki. Kabil, quit being an ass. Give her the horn. <sighs> Here, with respect to the future king, thank you for all you've done. Thank you.
Last to leave and first to return. Jonah's stories of you are true. The King's Horn, as requested. Did Kabil give you any trouble? You were right about his wife. She definitely had a way with his heart. Thank you for this, Lara. Of course. Uchu, what did you mean, last to leave and first to return? The men I have retrieving the other two items, they both left three days ago. Neither has returned. Do you think something's happened to them? It's Quinty that concerns me the most. He's young, likes to take risks. Jumps into the water before checking to see how deep it is. I know the type. Jonah. Jonah's right. That describes Quinty perfectly. I never should have sent Quinty to that damn place. Mm, what place is that? The old cistern. It's where the remains of Manko are kept hidden from the cult. Who is Manko? He was a farmer who led Sairi and Amaru's ancestors out of Cusco to safety centuries ago. He is known as the peasant savior. It's his amulet we need for the coronation. Why was Manko hidden away? Manko's followers were known as the Order of the Peasant Savior. This rebellion was born from it. When the cult of Kukulkan first took power, they tried to wipe out the Order. Manko was hidden away in a secret place and kept safe. But over time, as the Order dwindled, the memory of that place has faded. If you like, I could go look for Quenti. You've done a lot already. Bringing back the King's Horn was a big gesture of friendship. I don't mind, really. Maybe Quenti can show me the best cliffs to jump off. Please don't encourage him. The entrance to the cistern is a cave above the white tree. Follow the trail, it'll lead you to it. I should have done something. Yeah. 